Welcome to the Tempo Storm Deck Spotlight Series featuring Resurrect Priest. Resurrect Priest, also known as Big Priest, was an extremely popular deck during Knights of the Frozen Throne. This deck was played much differently than it is today, built around overwhelming your opponents with large minions. The current build of Resurrect Priest's general game plan is more focused on killing your opponent in one turn with its burst. While a lot of the cards in Resurrect Priest were already in standard prior to the Boomsday expansion, the card that really made this archetype viable in today's meta is Xerix. Cloning Gallery. This card allows for more consistent comboing by summoning pretty much all the minions that you want to revive. Resurrect Priest is a very versatile deck, but its game plans are typically straightforward. While you have several different win conditions, none of them are overly complex. The general game plan of the deck is to survive until you can go off with one of your combos. Your main two win conditions are summoning your spell power minions with Xerix Cloning Gallery and then killing your opponent with Mind Blasts and Holy Smites, or letting your big minions die, then reviving them with your Diamond Spell Stones. Depending on how your draws pan out, either game plan can be suitable for most games. When comboing properly, this deck can do upwards of 60 damage in a turn, easily killing almost any deck. When it comes to surviving until the later turns, Priest has always been a deck that excels compared to others. With tools such as Spirit Lash or Psychic Scream, clearing boards has never been easier. Due to all the spell power minions, Spirit Lash not only clears the board, but also potentially offers a lot of healing. Other cards such as Shadowward Pain and Shadowward Death also help to stay alive until the later turns of the game. Against faster decks, you'll often just need to clear off their board and outlive their burn. In matchups such as Tempo Major Odd Rogue, after removing their initial threats, you should focus on sticking a minion and out healing their damage. Even though this deck is well rounded, with a lot of the cards being seen as core, there are still things that you can replace depending on the matchups you're encountering. Currently, the list we're featuring is the most well rounded deck, and it is what you should play if you're facing against a lot of control decks or if the meta is very diverse. If you see yourself running into a lot of aggressive decks and you find that you're struggling to stay alive, consider removing either one or both copies of Holy Smite in favor of adding Blinding Heal. This will allow you to keep not only yourself alive longer, but it will also help you keep your board healthy in order to make constant value trades. If you find yourself facing off against other combo decks, you may figure that you need to finish your own combo faster. In order to do this, you can cut either the Holy Smites or an Obsidian Statue to run Power Word Shields. This card isn't in the current list as it's too tight for it, but if you need to draw faster, then it's a strong inclusion. Be careful cutting Holy Smite if you're running into a lot of Warrior or Druid decks, you may struggle to get enough damage to get through all their armor. This concludes our deck spotlight on the new Resurrect Priest. This deck has the potential to become a real threat in competitive play, and it's likely we see it at the Fall Championships. Thanks for watching our video, and if you enjoyed it, make sure to like it and let us know. Make sure to subscribe to stay up to date with all of our Hearthstone content. See you next time, have a good week.